we farmers have always advocated for supply management so that we don't raise more than what can be consumed. We can get a decent price and, and uh, it works for us. But the powers that be have never wanted that for us. Farmers have been forced into farming the policy that comes out of Washington, D.C. that really they have no input on. Our federal policy has to allow farm prices to go drastically low, so the margins of farming are very thin or non-existent. If you're going to make a living, you're going to have to use every economy of scale you possibly can. And when you have farmers competing against each other on that basis, it means you have fewer and fewer farmers. The farms are much bigger. Our subsidy system is just a way of making sure that the system doesn't self-destruct. Because if you let everybody produce as much corn as possible, you will guarantee a very low price for corn, actually a price that will guarantee uh, economic chaos. The narrative of cheap food is a very powerful one that industrial ag relies upon. Those are narratives that we have to break down because absolutely farmers deserve a fair price just like workers deserve a fair wage. And we're not going to improve our communities until farmers and workers are both doing better. The, the propaganda behind the production of, of biofuels is that we're going to make corn scarce to drive the price up. Well, we should not have to have scarcity of food in order for farmers to get a decent price. We have a food movement that says we're against cheap food and we're against cheap corn in particular and farmers, I told that to farmers and they say, oh really? You know, isn't that great? <laughs> yeah, that's great. And here's how they think you can get rid of cheap food. Oh, how's that? Just stop paying subsidies to farmers and then the free market will give you uh, fair prices. Well, free market fails chronically. Farmers understand that if you just simply take away subsidies, that's not going to fix the problem. You're dedicated to this, this life. And, other, and, and we're being taken advantage of, and it does not make me feel good at all. And I know that farmers around the world are being treated in much the same way. If we can't grow food in our local areas, then we're dependent on the much broader corporations who are going to be feeding us, and they will feed us whatever is cheapest, whatever they can make cheapest and make a profit on. In an ideal world, uh, a system of farming and, and food that's good for farmers, that's good for workers, that's good for eaters in our environment, has diversified family farms uh, you know, with, with strong crop rotations that care for our soil, that care for our water, that bring livestock back to the family farms and that are spread uh, geographically across the state. The, the, the problem has to be solved politically and people don't like to have the government involved in their business, but when big business is running everything and everything's getting more and more into the hands of big business. The only thing that stops that is have government that works for its people and politicians that work for their people in their country.